Alright, here we go. Night of the Rabbit, episode 3. Uh, we've been told to make invitations and shit for everybody in town for some kind of fucking party. I call it uh, adventure game busy work. Just checking something out. <laughs> Heading into this coffee shop or whatever the hell it is. It sure smells good in here. Kind of like herbal drops. <laughs> What's his problem? I know you're out there somewhere. Come back soon. I'll take care of your garden until then. <sighs> I guess he won't say anything to me. Oh, dried tea cakes and runny custard. Uh. Hello. Just a sec. The hell? Welcome to my little tree trunk cafe. Hello, I'm Jerry. Oh, you're sweet as sugar. <laughs> Rare. He went, oh. Let's see, that noise now just sounded dangerous. Or I'm supposed to order blue juice and baked goods for the treetop festival. Or see you later. I'm going to do the second one. I'm supposed to order blue juice and baked goods for the treetop festival. Oh, is it that time again? How nice. I will bake lots and lots of cupcakes. And what about this blue juice? I'm sorry, Sugar Plum, but you'll have to go ask the dwarves about that. They haven't delivered any in days. They live at the other end of the cold water brook in the dark wood. What the hell? That noise just <clears throat> now. That sounds dangerous. But of course, dangerously tasty. I'm creating something that no one in Mousewood has ever seen. Exploding cookies! Yeah, but wouldn't an exploding cake be better? Trust me, sugar cube. It will be pancake-tastic. I hope the boy I'm babysitting will have real fun with them. Little Humbert is... a bit difficult. Everyone thinks he's a nasty, spoiled brat, but he's just... under-challenged. Poor gifted child. Maybe my new cookies will keep him on his toes. Oh, uh, okay. As far as that, um, under-challenged Humbert goes, have you found an interesting hobby for Humbert? Not yet, alas. Oh, too bad. I'm always asking other people questions. No one ever asked me a question. Oh, that's terrible. You poor pumpkin. Would you like me to ask you a question? Yeah, ask one, ask one. Hmm, have you seen a frog on your travels? Big fellow, really good looking. Uh... He usually drinks coffee here about this time, but he hasn't come in yet. And I thought you were talking about me. See you later. Take care. Something's not right here. A whole barrel full of little cakes, and yet nobody's eating them. Strange, isn't it? These cupcakes are Uli's favorite, made with herbs from his pharmacy. Try one. Oh, come on. Just a little nibble. Sorry, but I'd rather not play lab rat for the herbal cupcakes. Lab rat? Is that what they call scientists where you come from? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's not important. Hey. I'm just looking around her place. One hot coffee. Hmm, that won't work. 
Uh, no. That won't do any good. One hot coffee. Hmm. That... It says coffee free, but please, please also try our pound cake. It's off. No reception. We're off the air. Who's this guy? Hello. Good day, my friend. Wait a second. I know that voice. Ludwig Borrower is the name. Swamp Radio 103.6 hour 5. Mole in the morning, mole at noon, and mole in the evening. Right. I heard you on the radio once. Yes. Unfortunately, the swamp path is still flooded, so I can't continue. I would love to broadcast again. I've been broadcasting from the swamp ever since the crows pulled apart my old transmitter. So you're a DJ? So you're a radio DJ? Yes. Unfortunately, the swamp path is still flooded, so I can't continue. I would love to broadcast again. I've been broadcasting from the swamp ever since the crows pulled apart my old transmitter. Swamp Radio 103.6 hour 5. Mole in the morning, mole at noon, and mole in the evening. I heard all that. Is there any hope that you'll be transmitting again soon? With all the moisture that creeps into my transmitter in the swamp? Never! Someone might complain about my watered-down contributions. What? But your fans... They'll say my jokes are all wet. How will you explain to your fans that you're quitting? With damp pies. <laughs> because everything's flooded, right? No, because it's really sad. Oh, you can't just give up like that. I'm not giving up. Crack a nut, squirrel, as the young people say these days. No, to get me to stop broadcasting, they'll have to tie my arms, legs, mouth, and belly button. Crack a nut? I've always wanted to be on the radio, too. That's the right attitude. If you want to host with me, you'll have to be sharp. Sharp? Yes, just try to set them up so I can knock them down. <laughs> with rapier-like wit. Um... Yes? I, uh, what should I say? Oh, something funny. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, why did the chicken cross the road? Ooh, that's no good. That'll go down very badly here in Mousewood, believe me. Oh, okay. Try to come up with something more appropriate for our audience. Then we'll try again. Um. I have to be going. See you soon. And remember, Swamp Radio 103.6 hour 5. Mole in the morning, mole at noon, and mole in the evening. Got it, got it. Jesus Christ. Mm. Cool mushroom. Hmm, the way it smells in here. The pots must contain dried herbs and spices. Ah! Uli's nightcap. Sleeping drops. It says a bottle costs one leaf buck. Hmm. I don't have any leaf bucks. Not even one. Empty. Extravagant. Oh. Hello. That's what old Uli would have said now. Who's old Uli? Oh, a dear friend of mine. See the picture on the counter? This little herbal pharmacy belongs to him. I see. So, is he out getting more herbs? Well, he's on an adventure and will be gone a very long time. Hmm. Ah, I almost forgot something, Apple Cheeks. <laughs> One of Uli's painted sugar-free lollipops for you. Sugar-free? I also baked Uli's herbs into some buns. But it turned out that nobody wanted them like that. I can't imagine why. Oh, I knew you'd appreciate Uli's herbs. Hey, they're a bit dry, but... Dry? Oh, just have fun licking the lollipop and nibbling the cake. My little cinnamon bun. <laughs> what was that look on his face? Alright, so I got those two items. What's with this key? I'd better leave that where it is. I want to be a magician, not a key thief. 
All right, Around all right. here, they probably sentenced you to a thousand laps of the hamster wheel. <laughs> Very clever, Jerry. The door is now open. Hey. Hey, you. This is private property. Get out of my garden. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Alright, well. Can't go out there. There's a note hanging there. One of our guests left the cheese wheel behind. Since it's been here for three years, all guests may now help themselves freely. Kindest regards, Anya. Free? Super! <coughs> oh man, the cheese is rock hard. Can I use anything on it? A stick? Too dull. That won't do any good. Huh. Well, I don't have anything else. wander around. Here's that back garden again. Nice garden. Just look with your eyes. No touching. Hey you, everything okay? Uh, coffee. Somebody's shirking dish duty. I'm meditating. <laughs> That's a lot of mailboxes. There's a lot of room in our house. And a lot of hairs. We have even more tunnels than the wood dwarfs. Of course, there are only three of them. Just looking around. <sighs> hey. Hey, you. This is private property. What a sturdy looking rake. It probably belongs to the hair family. So I'll it just take it. Useful. Hey! Hey you! What are you doing with our family rake? Oh, uh, uh, I'm just... Oh, yeah, all right. Oh, off you go. Those leaves aren't going to rake themselves. Sorry, I skipped the one of the dialogues by accident with my heavy fat fucking finger on the mouse button. A strange statue. The upper half is missing, and now it no longer has eyes. Memo. We need more blue juice. Well, the barrel looks empty, but the tap can still be used. Let's look through my coin. Wait, it only lasts for a second? Do that again. To the right are the gardens. Check. The way to the town square leads across the tree route. And if I follow the path in the other direction, I'll come to the edge of town. All right. Come on. What the hell is this? There's not even one bee inside. 
But judging by the sweet smell, the bees only just left. How odd. I thought crows were a problem here. Why would they build a statue to them? The pumpkins here are incredibly big. On the other hand, I have been talking to mice and mice. By comparison, a giant pumpkin is almost unspectacular. <coughs> Hedgehog Brothers Carpentry. What can we do for you today? Mm. Nobody here. Wow, what a big leaf. Maybe you can use it to call someone. Something about this pumpkin is different. It's round and big and orange. I can't put my finger on it, but something about it is different. Mm. Quite round, the others too, but especially this one. <laughs> My head sounds almost the same. Oh. The pumpkins here are incredibly big. On the other hand, I have been talking to mice and mice. By comparison, a giant pumpkin is almost unspectacular. Hmm, strange. And locked. Oh. It says, A. Molina, no advertisements, please. How mysterious. Well, where do I go? You'd have to be about half my size to fit through there. Let's go in here. Step right up and admire the goods, but make sure that your eyes stay in your head. Although, that wouldn't be a problem, because we have outstanding glass eyes among all the things you can buy here at ridiculously low prices. R ridiculously low. At Church Mouse and Sun. Glass eyes? And much more. The traveling merchants, Church Mouse and Sun, have everything you've ever wanted, will want, and will need. Even though you don't know you want it, will want it, or will need to have wanted it. You talk like an actor. I have a funny you should say that, <laughs> but let's get down to business. What do you need, boy? Church Mouse and Son have everything. Uh, let's try, let's lawnmower these options. I'm looking for something tasty. Maple syrup cheesecake. With walnuts? Even better. A mud pie with twigs and rocks in the shape of a heart. Mud pie? Ugh. Thanks, but no thanks. It's very realistic. Mud fans know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Isn't that right, Junior? He'll be taking over the whole <laughs> shop soon. And then I'll take a, a well-earned retirement. Soon you can sell your own mud pies. Junior? <laughs> He's shy. But a terribly good businessman. I believe in him really, really strongly. You hear? Junior? It's so nice to know that your golden years are secure. Well, then take this one time only, a small but exquisite promotional gift. A red thread for you. Here, wow. let me tie the thread to your amusing round coin. Oh, okay. That's cool. Which, by the way, will not be accepted as payment. Very decorative. Thanks. The high quality red thread I gave you uh, should lead you back to Church Mouse and Son well, whenever you need exquisite things. Things of every kind. Pretty things. Tall things, small things, white things, bright things, filled things, spilled things, things with sugar, things with mud. Yeah. Silly things. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you're looking for things, come to Church Mouse and Sun. 
but don't take too long. Soon I'll be handing my business over to my talented son, so that I can retire to the Coconut Palm Islands. <laughs> We're still saving up enough money for the trip. Isn't that right, Junior? Junior? <laughs> Thank you. I'll be sure to come in if I need... Things! Need things. We have stuff, too. All right, things and stuff. And junk! Things, stuff and junk. Now you've got it. Jesus Christ. What happens if I clip Church Mouse Jr.? Hello, I'm Jerry. Junior? Yeah, no reply. Hello, Junior. <laughs> He's shy. Step right up and admire the goods, but make sure that your eyes stay in your head. Oh, Although, oh God! No problem, because we have no, big no, bat, no, and the traveling. You talk like a heaven, but let church. Oh my God! Oh, well, what brings us back to these? I forgot we had other options. Let's try this. Do you have action figures? Superheroes and stuff like that? How about a, an authentic reproduction of, uh, of the uncrackable Nutman? The, the, the song about the hero of my youth. Uh, uh, how does it go again? Uh, his head's a nut, his body's a nut, the rest is nutty too. Uncrackable Nutman. So it's just a guy made out of nuts. Uh, yes, uh, but it's still in mint condition. Uh, the value goes down uh, every time it's touched, even by the air. But if I buy it, I want to play with it. Play? Well, <laughs> no, really. No, I don't think it's for sale anyway. Isn't that right, Junior? He'll be taking over the whole shop soon, and then I'll take a, a well-earned retirement. Soon, you'll be able to deny children access to valuable toys yourself. Junior? <laughs> He's shy, but a terribly good businessman. I believe in him really, really strongly, you hear? Junior? It's so nice to know that your golden years are secure. Got it. The high quality red thread I gave you uh, should lead you back to church yeah, stuff yeah, and yeah, how yeah, you. Yeah, okay. Oh. I get it. What's this? What a weird statue. There's a little stone face in the crystal. And some kind of amber thing. Hmm. I hear a fine sound. Very, very softly, like someone flicked a glass. Huh. Wow, the whole town fits under the tree. Any bird who built a nest up on a branch would have a magnificent view. You can see into the town hall from here. The old squirrel Jonathan has already seen me. Mm. He's waving his cane. I think he's afraid I'll climb in through the window and walk all over his books. I'd never do that. At least, not while someone's looking. A sad human face behind Ivy. I wonder who painted that. They smell earthy. I like mushrooms a lot better like this than in Mum's salads. Ugh. Nice view. From here you can see the cafe and the city wall. And one of the mouse guard's cannons. Hmm. Huh. Alright, moving on. up out here. Wait, up here.
Hello. Why are you up here? I was assigned to cannon duty. We had a big crow problem here. Well, have. We even had to evacuate the town. That sounds horrible. Well, it was. So if I see one of those horrid creatures, then kaboom! <laughs> Usually they fly out of the northwest. I have to keep my eyes open all the time. Even at night. Okay. Pause off! The cannon has to be ready for the next crow attack. Imagine a critter like that flying right into the town hall. Again. Usually they fly out the northwest. I have to keep my eyes open all the time. Even at night. All right, all right. Hmm, this owl statue looks incredibly wise. It must have seen all kinds of things swim, float, and gurgle past in the brook. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. Please, everyone calls me Spitzrack. No need to be formal with me. By the way, in case you're wondering, I'm a Suslick. Oh, I, I didn't know that. The way you're packed, <laughs> it looks like you're ready for some adventure. I'm an adventurer and scientist. And on my latest expedition, I will travel the seven seas to document the differences in their flora and fauna. Just look at all the maps in my backpack. The beauty of nature is manifested in its subtlest, most delightful way in these loving records. Yes, I'm on an enormous adventure, and it begins here at home, in our humble cold water brook. Oh, that sounds exciting. But why aren't you on your way? That much ocean must take an awfully long time to explore. Tell me about it. I wanted to complete the first leg with a traditional mousewood leaf boat. I ordered it from the Hedgehog Brothers. They are the most talented and reliable craftspeople here in the woods, you know. All they had to do was float the boat down the cold water brook to me. But I've been waiting here for a while now. Say, you wouldn't happen to be heading for the pumpkin patch on the edge of town, would you? I was if just there. ask about my boat at the Hedgehog Brothers workshop, you would be doing me a big favor. No problem. I'll take care of it. All right. Let's see what that says. Got a little direction here. It's what I like. Spitzweg is waiting for his boat. Dwarf stopped delivering blue juice. Gotta give the invitations. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada, yada. Hmm. The catfish in the water is a ruthless predator and can get, let's say, rather unpleasant on a bad day. So the barrier is to keep him out of our town. Therefore, I can only open it when the catfish isn't here. I guess that's another puzzle for me. There's a big fish flapping its fins at the bottom of the brook. I think it's waiting for someone to open the barrier. <gasps> Who's there? Oh, just another owl statue. Oh, my mistake. Wow, the whole town fits under the tree. Any bird who built a nest up on a branch would have a magnificent view. I wonder if mice and squirrels live like this in our woods. Did I always just take a wrong turn in the woods at home? What is this? Mm. Mm. Tower, but it won't let me go up. Mm. Securely locked. Oh. All right. Whatever. Back the way I came. Uh, let's go out this other side. Hey, 
Who are you? I've never seen you here before. Nonsense. He came through here earlier today. Yeah? Yeah, together with a rabbit with weird red eyes. Well, I remember that one. I'm Jerry Hazelnut, magician in training. Magician? You? I might have bought that from your friend with the red eyes, but... Oh, why do I have to stand guard out here while you get to have fun? Oh. Welcome to Mousewood, newcomer. Your friend with the red eyes seem familiar to me. Here's some well-meaning advice. From me to you, stay within the town, all right? The crows are circling low over the woods today. Uh-oh. Another statue. It looks like those stone eyes have seen a lot. Wow, mm. the whole town fits under the tree. Any bird, I wonder if my... Did I... Oh. In Mouse Deez, it says, to the Coldwater Brook Bridge, but it looks like gobbledygookies. This statue looks like a mouse, like a grumpy city guy. Faced with something like that, you feel a lot more cheerful yourself. Some company that is for the real gods. Oh. Oh, you're in Mousewood too. How funny. Can I go anywhere? There's an owl's wall here too, just like at home. Head into the woods. Looking through my magic coin. <clears throat> what a weird statue. There's a little stone face in the crystal. And some kind of amber thing. Mm. I hear a fine sound. Very, very softly. Like someone flicked a glass. That's exactly what the other thing did. So there's two of those. Okay. So using the using the coin with the circle, and everything turns trippy for a second. It'll what it does is at least one of the things it does is it highlights the hot spots on the map on the on the screen. So watch again, and you'll see certain things are glowing, and those are going to be things I can click. Let's see. It's much, much deeper than it is back home. Good thing I'm a decent swimmer. Whoa, that is a big spider. Holy cow. As long as it stays right there, it can keep its pretty spider web. Hmm. Okay. Well. I'm going to go ahead and call that an episode. So thanks a lot for joining me and I'll see you next time.